Hi, I'm Joy Daniels with the Joy Daniels Real Estate Group. Welcome to my video blog. Today we're talking about preparing your home for winter. I have so many great points that I'm going to share several tips today and the rest of my tips in my next video blog. Now that fall is here, it is time to prepare your home for the cold weather ahead. Here are some steps to help lower your utility bills and protect your property. First, tune up your heating system. For $80 to $100, a technician will inspect your furnace or heat pump to be sure the system is clean, working well, and it can achieve its manufacturer rated efficiency. Look for a heating and air conditioning contractor that belongs to the Air Conditioning Contractors of America and they can help you get your system up and running correctly. Something else you can do to stay cozy at home is to reverse your ceiling fans. If your fan has a reverse switch, turn it to a clockwise direction to produce an updraft and push the warmer air down from the ceiling. This is especially helpful with high ceilings and may allow you to turn the thermostat down a degree or two. This is also a great chance to dust those ceiling fans. Now that you know the heat is working well, look around for places where heat may escape, such as windows and doors. If gaps between siding and window or door frames are bigger than the width of a nickel, you need to reapply exterior caulk. Be sure to check the joints in the window and door frames too. Silicone caulk is best for exterior use because it won't shrink and it's not affected by the elements. Also check and reapply window glazing putty which seals glass into the window frames. Around your doors add weather stripping so that you cannot see any daylight from the inside of your home. Next, look at the roof. Look at it closely for damaged or loose or missing shingles that may leak during winter storms and melt off. Also check and repair breaks in the flashing seals around vent stacks and chimneys. Hiring a handyman to repair a few shingles or a roofer for larger sections is likely less expensive and definitely less hassle than repairing interior water damage. Did your home have a lot of icicles or ice dams last winter? Ice dams can cause snow and ice melt water to back up and flow back into your house. Before winter starts, call a home energy auditor who can identify and fix air leaks and inadequate insulation in your attic that might lead to ice dams. While you're looking at your roof, also check your gutters to be sure they're clear. If your gutters are full of leaves, well, water can back up against the house and damage the roofing, siding, and gutters can cause leaks and ice dams all over the place. So make sure that the water in your gutter isn't just poured out next to your foundation. Add extensions to your downspouts to divert water at least three to four feet away from the foundation. These are inexpensive and easy to attach. Join me next week for part two and more tips about getting your property ready for cold weather. If you've been considering listing your home, now is the time. Our listing specialists are standing by and ready to assist you. Thank you for watching my video. If you would like more information regarding this report or if you know someone who's interested in buying or selling, give us a call at 717-695 3177 or email us at info at joydaniels.com. We'll see you next week.